So we'll take a look at here is using um, the Lemke-Hausen algorithm for computing Nash equilibria. So we're going to do this with the battle of the sexes, um, which I've, I've uh, input there. And then what we can do is do battle of the sexes dot Lemke-Hausen, and we pass what's called the initial drop labels. We say which one of the labels you want to drop. If you're not familiar with the Lemke-Hausen algorithm, you can go read it up. Um, read up about it either in the documentation in NashPy or, or anywhere else. Um, and we see the Nash Equilibria is the first player for playing their first strategy and the second player playing their first um, strategy. And so we could, if we wanted to, iterate over all possible drop labels. So we'd go for label in range 4, print battle of the sexes, Lemkehausen, initial drop label equals label. And if you run that, we see it gets one of two. Each drop label gives us um, two different equilibria. Each drop label gives us one of two different equilibria. Either both players playing the first strategy or both players playing the second. And if we just, for uh, completeness, we can actually uh, do things in, uh, we can do this automatically by going battle of the sexes dot Lemke Hausen enumeration. And that will just go through all possible initial labels. And then if we go list EQs, we get the, the same result as above. And then finally, if we wanted to, we could also go for EQ in battle of the sexes dot, and let's just use support enumeration and print EQ. We see that Lemkehausen, the Lemkehausen algorithm is finding these first two equilibria, but there is a third that it cannot find. Um, and so that's just something to keep in mind, that uh, the Lemke-Hausen algorithm is an efficient algorithm, but it's not necessarily an exhaustive one.